Chopin's Winter Wind is one of the most challenging etudes. I've performed and taught this for decades, and I've seen many pianists give up on it because it is so challenging. I made this video to help you master this etude so that you could enjoy playing it and so that you will become the next winter wind dropout. If you have good technique and you follow my guidelines, there's absolutely no reason why you can't play this piece. I'm going to cover this entire etude and I'm going to help you overcome the main challenges. I'll show you how to practice and how to prepare mentally to tackle it. I'll talk about arm and hand position and how to play it expressively. Make sure you get your Win to Win PDF that I created just for you. This PDF has my fingering and my pedaling in the sheet music. I'm going to talk about eight different aspects of this piece that will be challenges for you. The first one is difficult notes, and it's true. If you look at this piece, the notes look very intimidating, but I'm going to show you what to do. When you start any piece, it's very important that you analyze it first. Look for patterns. Look for familiar concepts. In this piece, you will see a motif right at the beginning of the introduction. Now, not only is that telling you that there's a storm coming, and it's very ominous, but it's the motif that appears throughout the piece. It starts out right with the second line. <laughs> On the third and fourth measures of the introduction, Chopin wrote it in four-part harmony. It's very important to voice the chords in this section. Let's jump to measure five now, where the action really begins. Uh, the top notes of these lines are just simply a chromatic scale. So if you know that, there's no reason you have to worry about those notes. You know what those top notes are gonna do. Underneath those notes are an A minor chord. So it's just coming down like this in an A minor. So as I put the two together, so I have the chromatic on the top and then the A minor with my second and thumb. So, I've already learned the first four measures from measure five to eight of this piece. Fingering is paramount. If you don't have good fingering, you'll never be able to play this piece. So, please print out the PDF that I provided for you, and I would suggest that you use it for practicing. It is tried and true fingering. It's important to practice hand separate on this piece a lot. I would suggest that maybe you start with six notes at a time. And get that good so that you can go all the way down, six notes at a time, taking your time in between. Then try 12 notes at a time. Another way that 
really is helpful to practice is to do it in a group of six and do long quick. So you make this note long and you go as fast to that note. And you could do quick long. You can also block two notes together. And this is a great way to practice and learn the notes. Jumping down to measure nine through 12, I suggest you learn this in four note groups like this. Notice the pattern. When you can do that. Try six notes. One of the best ways is to block the intervals of fourths like this. about what I'm doing with my arm. Hopefully you're seeing me go out with my elbow as I play this. It comes in here. Goes out. Very important, this movement that I'm doing to be able to play this passage. Let's look at the left hand for just a minute, which plays the melody. And of course, it's very important. Um, what you wanna make sure you're doing is you're voicing the chords. So let me go through and practice. because then you're going to feel the weight into your thumb. This is the biggest challenge is to make sure that we can hear that top note. To watch the full tutorial, click the link in the description. Thanks for your support.